Hello, hello, we are indeed live. I thought I was having a, oh, now I'm live. Was I live? I am live. I am live now. I may have been talking before, thinking I was live. I wasn't live. So I think we're live now. So if you are with me here live, give me a hashtag live in the comments. And if you're catching me in replay, give me a hashtag replay, please. Um, now I'm a little bit concerned about the Wi-Fi because it's very, well, it's been very stormy everywhere, I think, for the last two weeks. Um, sorry, that's a, hi, close up of my ear. Um, so if I get cut off with the Wi-Fi in my computer, I will go on to my phone, um, but we'll have a little bit of disruption, so don't panic, don't panic. Um, so how are you all? Hope you're having a good week. Um, I am in COVID isolation, having tested positive yesterday after hubby testing positive before the weekend so i've kind of been half expecting it um very mild symptoms got a little bit of a cough had some really sore hips which i actually well still not sure if i had achy hips or whether i just had really sore butt cheeks from doing squats at the weekend but either or i had achiness around the hips um but yeah so we're fine so hope you're all having a, a fab a fab a fab week and the storms aren't trashing your life too much um it's been a, a good old week here um i think most of you probably know about the fatigue fix which is our new 90 day bespoke co pro bespoke coaching program for ladies with fibro uh chronic pain chronic fatigue me lupus rheumatoid arthritis been going really really well so i have two spaces left thought i'd one but two mm. so anyway yes so that's all been going well and got a few new ladies in our emw academy with our flagship body balance blueprint program which is also a 90 day bespoke coaching program not specialized it's only well it's specialized for the over 40s achieving women really so helping them achieve great great things so tonight is all about the collagen. Now I get, oh my God, right. So over, it's very weird how fashions and trends happen. So over the last three months in particular, I have been asked a lot about collagen and it just, it kind of goes through waves of sexiness. Like it was vitamin D for a while, which was a sexy supplement and now it's collagen. So I'm going to tonight go through some actual facts, evidence-based findings. And I, if I'm throwing in my opinion, I will tell you that it's my opinion, okay, or my experience with something. And I don't want you to take my experience as fact or my opinion as fact, but I will share actual facts, okay? So I'm trying to, I'm, I think we'll get it done, we'll get it done within the 30 minutes, I think. And if I do have a mild coughing fit, I do apologise, I do have my water here. So as we go, as always, I'm always up for your questions coming through. Even if you have questions that are completely unrelated to collagen, then pop them in. Not a problem at all. Um, so what I wanted to do tonight is explain a little bit more about what collagen is, what it does as a supplement and what it does in the body as well. Um, so that you are or armed and you can then go and feel a little bit confident in what it is that you are doing all right so collagen collagen is a protein found in everybody's bodies we've all got collagen okay and it's found in our skin it's found in our bones it's found in our muscles ligaments tendons all the bits okay now the reason why it's an important pro uh, protein as it's it's a, called a structural protein and that pretty much means that it forms the structure the framework of our cells and tissues okay so it's, it's super important basically it keeps everything holding together essentially now as we age so i'm going to be talking about this in the in the um realms of a woman 40 plus because that's what most of you are so as we age we start producing less collagen okay fun and games getting older it just gets better and better doesn't it every every week i seem to come to you and going as we age this just gets worse or this week we get less of this we get less of this but you know it doesn't mean it's the end of the world oh sorry I've, i do have my pajama bottoms on 
the reason for that is I took the, the, the dog out of the back and it was pouring me in. So anyway, there are... Collagen is super, super important. Super important. Um, so you know already that it performs, it um, provides structure for our cells and tissue, but it plays such an important role in other areas of our bodies. So it's it's vital for our cells repairing. It's vital for our immune system. Vital for when our cells talk to each other. Um, and when we age, what happens is collagen think of it like the walls of a building right the walls of your house but as you age th those walls start fragmenting start peeling apart so that then produces less collagen essentially now when we combine that change with another protein change another structural protein which you might have heard of called elastin that's where we start seeing the breakdown of the face. Saggy skin, jowliness, which I'm getting really quite hacked off with these bloody jowls and these old wrinkles here and in here, which mine have vanished with the help of a needle. So basically, that's why we start, that's why our skin starts aging is because it's a reduction of co pro collagen production and the reduction of elastin. So basically the structures are crumbling, aka okay, our face crumbles. Does that all make sense? It's not pretty. It's not pretty getting old. Really, shit. Um, actually, it's not shit because think how much wiser you are now than you were 10 years ago. Now, col <coughs> collagen is something that all of our bodies make naturally um and can also be found in supplements which i'm going to talk about that and also in food okay now before we talk about the supplementary part which is why everybody's here i want us to always think about what we can do ourselves to help ourselves avoid supplementation supplementation if you think of the word supplementary, it is an additional. We can do our we can do some things ourselves to help that collagen production as we age. Now, basically, the reduction of collagen is going to happen whether you like it or not. You know, as you age, it's just something that happens. But from a lifestyle point of view and from a diet point of view, there are lots of things that you can do that are going to help decrease that the rate of that reduction in collagen okay so really super simple easy quick wins here stop smoking excessive alcohol intake is another contributing factor highly processed foods high sugar foods so it's pretty much common sense when it comes to us helping ourselves produce as optimal collagen as we age you need to give up the crap. You need to give up the smoking, stop the excessive alcohol, eat lower processed foods, cut back on the pro on the additional sugar. Okay. So we you probably are already consuming collagen in your actual diet. So we tend to find right, so one thing you might have heard of before is, is something called bone broth. That's it's quite big in the States as a like a lot of athletes take bone broth and you can get it over here but basically there's foods like um animal skin and ligaments and bone marrow etc etc are going to be pretty rich in collagen because that's where it exists um but you also want to make sure that you are consuming foods that support collagen and that means protein rich foods so your lean animal proteins your whey pr pr protein powder your greek yogurt as well as nutrient dense food particularly foods that are rich in vitamin c fruit and veg citrus fruit um and other you know fruits and veg they all contain various antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds okay so again common sense tells us that in order to support our bodies as best as possible we are looking at lean proteins, fruit and veg. Okay, so you knew that anyway. Now, one, when we, before we go into the supplementary part of collagen, you know, why should we supplement? Should we supplement? Is it that big a deal? What's it for? There's 
you're going to see if you are have been looking at it or you have been keen to know more you will have seen things like um hydrolyzed collagen you'll have seen things like uh collagen peptides um gelatin now basically hydrolyzed collagen and collagen peptides are, are ultimately the same thing okay they're just called different things so you don't need to stress too much and gelatin is basically just a cooked form of collagen so gelatin um, if you're a baker you'll probably use is it bacon Catherine if you're watching this or Sarah if you're watching this my, my baker friends uh, you can tell me gelatin is not so I know it's you can use it for making jellies and trifles and making things about I don't even know what the term is robust bacon robust anyway um but basically you don't need to worry too much but basically collagen and, and gelatin are pretty much the same thing um and one thing to be aware of is gelatin is a shit ton cheaper than collagen so um and the other thing to remember is when i was doing a lot of studying up on this a lot of the research that has been done in collagen has actually been done with gelatin because it's it's cheaper and more easily accessible so there you go that was something new that i found out as well so anyway so i'm going to tackle the main reasons why people are looking to to collagen as a supplement so bone health skin weight loss so for bone health as we age again i feel like i start every sentence with as we age so as we age our bone density declines so it's called bone mineral density okay and it declines and that when that that when that's declining that's putting us more at risk of things like osteoporosis okay so you probably know that already and this is one of the reasons why we're very big on resistance training as well because it can help protect our bone density but anyway a few studies not all studies but a few studies are showing that collagen supplementation reduced um symptoms like uh stiffness um and pain that came from osteoarthritis however this was all done on women that were older than we are now this is all done with women over 60 now some of you may be in your 60s i know some of you actually are in your 60s um but it's important to note that those studies were done in conjunction with resistance training so the study could not prove whether it was the collagen or whether it was the resistance training okay so it's worth noting that in conjunction with resistance training the use of collagen did support <coughs> that joint stiffness and pain that came with getting older okay so <coughs> there is a potential that that could help all right the next area that we want to consider collagen and probably this is where most people are coming from and this is certainly where my experience with collagen is coming from is around skin okay um so if you think ab about it in face value your collagen is declining as we age therefore it makes sense to replace that collagen with a supplement okay but it's this <laughs> In some ways it's very similar to fat loss in that you cannot spot increase where you are adding topping up that collagen okay so if you think about what collagen is it's a structural protein that forms the walls of the cells all around your body so skin cells muscle cells all the cells so if you're trying to replace just the collagen in your skin cells there's no way of doing that okay so your body basically determines where this collagen is going to go and chances are it's more likely to be used for i'm going to say more important things more health important things like um hormones transmitters in your brain digestive system cells brain cells um etc etc rather than using it for skin so You'll see a lot of supplements. There's one, I can't, oh God, what is the name of it? I can't remember, but they, they, they market it purely as collagen for skin. But there's no way of them being able to do that. It's the same as me saying, come and work with us and we will lose fat only from your belly. 
or we will only lose you we'll, we'll get your thighs down to being a baby giraffe thighs and it doesn't nothing else will happen we can't do that we can't spot reduce body fat we can't spot increased collagen okay so you might also see collagen specifically for easing up creaky knees they can't do that okay so collagen when you absorb more collagen it's just going to be dispersed all over where your body needs it most probably not in your face okay but that said when you look at the studies for using collagen as a supplement to support skin health it, there are some studies showing this now the numbers are now let me get my numbers hold on 19 studies included just over a thousand people 95 percent of them were women so what's that about 900 of those women 900 were women between the ages of 20 and 70 found that taking hydrolyzed collagen improved skin hydration elasticity and wrinkles compared with <coughs> placebo treatments so that sounds pretty promising however one thing that came up when I was looking at these is that these studies were funded by companies that were manufacturing collagen. So there is always going to be a bias. Okay. But if you look at it in, you know, general terms, it looks pretty promising. It looks pretty promising that the use of collagen over a period of time is going to work. And I think what they came back with, hold on, I've got more stats here. The doses of collagen shown to be effective for improving skin health in research studies vary, though most studies have used two, <coughs> excuse me, 2.5 grams to 15 grams a day for eight weeks or longer. Which I thought was quite interesting. But again, there's probably is going to be some bias in those studies because they are funded by the manufacturers of collagen products. Okay. Now, the use of protein, uh, the use of collagen as a protein supplement is not really going to do you much benefit at all. Um, the I, I'm not going to go far too much into the details, but basically, up until re recently, collagen was known as a junk protein, which pretty much it didn't really do much in terms of a as a as a dietary protein. Um, so what we want to do is we need to make sure that we are pretty much helping ourselves help ourselves as much as possible so if you are eating a diet in high protein you've got vitamin d we need that in the uk we do need to supplement that in the uk if you can you can't see out my window but it's like i, I literally haven't seen a bit of sunshine for oh no i did see sunshine on monday anyway vitamin d calcium vitamin c and zinc okay if you're getting a diet high in them high in, in proteins then you probably don't, don't need to supplement collagen because that's actually going to do you more good um so in terms of if you do need to supplement your protein you're better looking at a whey protein supplement rather than a collagen protein supplement okay you're going to get more nutritional benefit from your protein supplement don't do if if you're a vegan obviously don't use a whey one because it's milk based but you can use like a pea protein or a hemp protein or something as a supplement so you're not going to get the biggest bang for your buck using collagen as a protein supplement okay the way to think about this is how you think about anything else if you can consume a good quality diet with less processed food more fruit and veg more lean animal more lean protein combined with regular exercise that's going to be the key thing that's going to help minimize that collagen reduction so it's going to maximize your collagen production and minimize the reduction in your bone mineral density okay that should be your primary focus <coughs> excuse me if you have a shit diet and you're not doing any resistance training Taking collagen isn't really going to do you much good. The best thing that you can do as a priority is always look at the things that you can control first and help your body do what it does best. 
and then feel if you want to supplement then supplement go ahead absolutely but taking ownership of the things that you can control is is going to give you the biggest bang for your buck now in terms of how to do that yeah that's everybody knows that they should be doing that absolutely i get that and fundamentally that's what we do that's what our team emw that's what our body balance blueprint is all about um so from my own personal experiences like i think it i think it's fair that i can bring that in as well i have used um a couple of different collagen products over the past couple of years and i think I've, i have talked about this before the first one that i used was a tablet form um and i did notice over time i think i've talked to my nails used to i used to break my nails and they used to be very weak and they cracked and they flaked um, and since introducing collagen into my diet, they rarely do that. They do now when I take off, I don't use, um, I don't get acrylics, but I get rubber base because I'm a, it's, when I use gel polish on just my nails, it bubbles up and it peels off within a day. And uh, nail techs always think I'm picking at it. I'm like, I'm genuinely not. It just bubbles and peels off and they don't believe that that can happen. And like, it actually does happen. Anyway. So by the way, so when I get the when I get the rubber taken off, it can cause flakiness and whatnot. But I think that's just the trauma to the nail. So I have certainly noticed a benefit in terms of my nails. However, when I was going through all the evidence, there's nothing to suggest that it should. But that's just my own personal experience. And whether it's a psychological thing of saying well i'm taking collagen now so my nails are getting get stronger therefore i don't want to bite them or i don't want to pick at them or, or whatever who knows you know you'll never know um so that's just one experience and now i take a collagen powder which i combine into my smoothie in the morning and it is a, a it's not a protein supplement but it gives me an extra six grams of protein which helps me reach my protein target so it's not hugely concentrated for protein um and that but that is on top of me already having a a high protein diet so i'm already consuming i think about 130 grams of protein a day let me tell you for a fact let me tell you the fact clara should be able to tell me what my protein should be my target's about 150 yeah. So anyway, basically, don't use pro don't use collagen to supplement your protein. Try and get that from your diet. Okay. So, has that helped, or has it just confused matters loads? Put a wee put a wee note in the comments. Put a wee note in the comments. <coughs> so if you are. I talked a lot about getting your protein requirements from food or whey protein. If you're not sure what you should be, if you're trying to lose body fat, a general rule of thumb, a general rule of thumb, like this is not me prescribing anything to you, but a general rule of thumb is around one, between three quarters and one gram of protein per pound of body weight that you are. So say you're 150, I need to do the calculation. Say you're 150 pounds, you should be looking at minimum 113 grams of protein a day, roughly, okay? So that can sound quite overwhelming, as with everything else that we talk about here, start where you are and build up so if you're literally getting 30 grams of protein a day you are not going to get up to 113 grams of protein the next day because it's super hard so you build up slowly and get to a point where you're quite comfortable with what you're eating and you've got a process processes in place for like meal prepping and shopping and all the rest of it okay right that's us we are collagened out. So what's your thoughts? Are you taking collagen? Do you Are you going to be taking collagen because of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The thing as well about supplementation is that you're never going to see 
you're never going to start taking something and then two days later go, oh my God, this is really, really helping me. This is amazing. That's not really often how it works. But what you might find is if you take something over um, a consistent period of time, you will find that when you stop, <coughs> that's when you might start noticing that, oh, I'm a bit creaky or I'm a bit sore or whatever. Um, and I certainly notice that with magnesium. I take magnesium at night uh, as part of its kind of recovery protocol. And if I don't take it for maybe three or four nights, it's very often because I run out and then I forget to buy some. Um, if I don't take that, I start going, oh, I'm a bit achy after my, when I get into my bed. So, yes. So what I would say, if I was giving my recommendation to a client in a hypothetical situation, give it a try and see what happens. You know, for the most part, it's not going to do any damage. The one thing to pay attention to that if you are taking a supplement that is collagen plus other things, you need to check the ingredients and make sure that any medication that you are on does not have any imbalance with the, the supplement that you're taking because very often collagen supplements are mixed with other things. Um, so yeah. The other thing to pay attention to actually while I remember is if you are taking a vegan or a vegetarian collagen supplement, it's not collagen, okay? It will be a collagen supporting supplement. So it might be something like vitamin C and something else. Um, because collagen itself comes from bones and skin and stuff like that. So it, by its very nature, can't be vegan or vegetarian. So that's something else to think about as well. Um, the protein, go for, start at not 0.75 grams per of protein per pound of your body weight. That help, Helen? 0.75 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So, right, very, not a lot of comments tonight. And this was quite, this was a popular one. So, hope everybody has got their questions answered. Um, we're going to eat regardless. That's it. Sums up. We're going to eat regardless whether we like it or not or how much collagen we take. Um, it's just what can we do to best support our bodies in that process. And if collagen works for you, great. And if it doesn't, don't waste your money. Okay. I am over and out. The, oh, to, this week on Friday, so Clara's back from holiday. She's been on holiday for what feels like about a month. Um, and... On Friday at two o'clock, we have our Ask Us Anything of the month. So we do this on the last Friday of every month. Um, it's always a good laugh. We always get some really good questions. We always get some good discussion points. Um, so if you do want to ask us anything, then hit us up. If you want to know more about any of our coaching packages, if you want to know more about what is in the future, because um, we've got a lot of that I have been designing like a designer maniac i don't know what i would be um i have been designing new packages and whatnot so if you want to know more about what's coming let us know if you just want a general chin wag about anything mascara it's one of my favorites mascara hair dye another one of my favorites keratin also working well for me let us know and um yeah if i don't hear from you Fabulous. I hope you can join us on Friday or at least catch up. And for those of you that are joined live, thank you very much for taking time out of your day. I appreciate you and I thank you. Have a awesome, awesome... And if you've caught up and you play, I do appreciate you catching up as well. Truly, I do appreciate that not many people are available at five o'clock on a random Wednesday. So you're all loved. Um, and with that, I am out. Have a tremendous evening. Take care, my loves. Bye-bye.